Welcome to episode three, trapping and monitoring. To monitor beetles in your paddock, you'll need a sturdy bucket and water, a three to four millimeter sieve, a shovel, gloves, and a ventilated container with a sterile medium for transporting. You may also need a smaller sieve or strainer, a magnifying glass, a dung beetle identification guide, and a smartphone with the BioCollect app. To identify, monitor and harvest beetles in your paddock, look for signs such as shredding or holes in the dung. Once you've found a pat that looks promising, lift it with a shovel and place it in the bucket of water. Swirl the pat around the bucket with the end of the shovel. And pour through the sieve to locate any beetles. If you find any beetles, identify their species, take photos for ID and log your location on the app. To make a paddock trap, you'll need a plastic tray filled two thirds the way up with water or sand, three to four millimeter mesh, a porous mesh bag and fresh one to two day old dung. After identifying a likely location, take the tray and fill it two thirds the way up with water or sand. Place the dung in the porous bag or directly on the mesh and then place the mesh over the tray. Leave it overnight. Harvesting the next day. For sand trays, beetles will bury into the sand and will need to be sifted or washed out from the sand to harvest them. For water trays, tip the beetles through a sieve. Identify the species and then take a photo for ID before logging your location on the BioCollect app. Release the beetles into the paddock or relocate to a container if sufficient numbers are found. For more information on the Dung Beetle Nursery Network project, please visit melbournewater.com.au forward slash building and works forward slash projects forward slash Dung Beetle Nursery Network. <laughs>